Yo, what's up guys, Teen Mechanic here, and this is my very first video on my channel. And currently, I am 13 years old, and I turned 13 on the 28th of January, and I was born in 2006. So, for my very first video, I'm just going to show you what I've got going on. So, this channel is mainly going to consist of uh, flipping cars on, you know, how to, you know, tutorials on, you know, things or how to do maintenance, regular maintenance on cars, things like that, and uh, I'm hoping to help out a lot of people and uh, share my knowledge. Um, I know videos like 13-year-old mechanics might be quite discouraging, however, um, I do have quite a bit of knowledge, especially for my age, I mean, not to, you know, do my own horn here, but uh, I would like to share that and help other people out. So, today for my first video, I'm just going to show you, I've got Copart, which I love, I love Copart gonna show you uh, very first th uh, or the things that I've got going on here hopefully that I can get the uh, very first vehicle that I'm considering flipping and uh, hoping that well not not too sure about this one but is a 2003 Volvo V70 uh, I don't know how many kilometers how many kilometers does it have again uh, where is it I forget I'm sorry, by the way, this is this is very, very first kind of video-ish, so hopefully you guys can bear with me here, and uh, I'm just going to find the kilometers really quick. Right, so I forgot that it is exempt, uh, of course, with the odometer. However, I, n I think it has, like, something around 229,000 last time I looked at it. Uh, yeah, definitely a, a tip from me is never bid sight unseen. If you watch any... Uh, any Copart uh, videos whatsoever, you know that you should not bid sight unseen, um, basically whatsoever. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you around this uh, this car here. Let's see if I can view all photos right here. Sorry. Okay. First one we've got here. Uh, you can see the. Uh, sorry, I, I have a screen recorder. It's just a lot of work. So. Anyway, we've got uh, this, uh, but just by the looks of it, it looks like it just needs a headlight, maybe a little wiper, uh, and a fender. However, you got to take into consideration there could be suspension damage, and there also could be the uh, fender apron could be uh, kinked or damaged or bent as well. So that's what I took into consideration the first time I saw this car. Then I went to Copart itself and looked at it. And the fender apron is fine and there's no suspension damage. I figured that there might not be suspension damage because if you look here, this wheel, its general position is, uh, just look at its general position. Then you've got this wheel and its general position is about the same. And there's not, it's not like it's turned a specific way or uh, that it's you know got any sort of camber issues. Uh, if you look here, it looks like the body is relatively straight, actually. Uh, same with this side, except for the fender. Uh, unfortunately, this is a salvage title, but uh, to be expected. You've got the back, looks relatively normal. Um, if you didn't notice already, you can see it's got an NS on the windshield. Uh, it does not start. It does have a dead battery. However, uh, I'm quite optimistic about this because uh, I've seen it several times where... Uh, there's been like it's had a, the Copart people uh, are instructed to get in. If it doesn't start, it's a no start. However, all it needs is like a jump or something. But they're not supposed to take the time to do that. So you've got a Ford Taurus looking thing right here. Anyway, besides the point, um, looks relatively straight. Looks pretty pretty good. Um, like like I said, doesn't look like there's any sort of undercarriage or suspension damage. Then again, it's hard to say from the pictures. The inside, I went and looked at it. Doesn't smell any. Doesn't smell bad. It's not all torn up. Uh, it's actually in relatively good shape. Um, rear seat, same thing. Doesn't look like it was sat in that often. Uh, the engine, I'm pretty sure is not seized. Otherwise, it would be like most likely a flood car or something like that. Mechanical damage. Um, but again, it's front end, and there's no secondary damage. So. I'm fairly confident that it might just need like a dead battery or something, or might have a dead battery or something. You look here, you've got your gauge cluster, of course, it's not running, as you can see by the tachometer, and you get a closer up thing. This is probably really expensive with the fact that it's a Volvo, uh, just even little things like that and the wiper. I'm concerned about the headlight, uh, sorry about that, I'm concerned about the headlight because I went and looked at it and literally there's glass chunks. It's made of glass, really thick glass. So I'd have to find one of those, and hopefully that would, um, hopefully that would, I mean, I'm hoping that it would be cheap, but then again, it probably wouldn't. 
Um, I've currently bid, as you can see here, um, my maximum bid is 350. My current bid is 250. Uh, I'm kind of hoping I don't get it because you'll see why in a second. This is my third choice. I'll show you my second choice is this one. 2002 Honda CRV. This one I was quite skeptical about. It does run and drive. Um, minor dent and scratches is secondary, but the primary is front end, obviously. Uh, by the way, this thing is just part of this wind deflector that uh, it, it pivots. So it's kind of like, I don't know, it's hard to explain the damage, but um, it's got an R on the windshield, runs and drives, it's got a D over here. Um, you can see obviously over there and over here on this. Uh, however, um, this bumper being cracked and like this actually concerned me because uh, if you think about it, and this is the EX by the way, so it's fully loaded, but it concerns me because, you know, yeah, the condenser could be bent, but then then it goes back to the radiator and then the fan and the, then the frame rails could be bent or who knows. Um, and of course the fender aprons and all that stuff just comes into consideration. There could be engine damage. So I went to go look at it. And the only thing that it would need is an AC condenser, because you know there's about a inch, maybe, gap between the condenser and the radiator. So, uh, looks like it's fine, I mean, to be honest. Maybe put a bumper, a condenser, uh, and that should be fine. However, I guarantee the AC didn't work in this to begin with. But, anyway, next photo. Body looks relatively straight, I mean, nothing particularly noteworthy. Um... I'm not sure what that is. I did not see that um, when I went to go look at it, so I'm assuming it's fine. Um, of course, it's got its minor dent and scratches, like it says uh, in the listing over here. But, uh, let me go ahead and... Yeah, it's EX, so it's fully loaded. Got the leather seats and everything. Pretty much all the options. Um, like I said, it runs and drives. Uh, it looks like it's running here, but I can't tell. Um, so, yeah, and it's got the Honda grill that comes with it, so... Probably no use, but still. All right, then you've got all your stickers. So that's my second choice. If I get that, no big deal. My first choice is this one. Although might not have a super high resale value, that would be fine because I would be hoping to. Oops, I'd be hoping to get this thing for a relatively cheap sale price because people don't really like these that often. And as you could probably already gather, there's damage over there. Um, it's got a straight body. Yes, it's dirty. I went to look at this one as well, obviously, um, and it's fine for the most part. Runs and drives. There's no check engine lights. My concern would be this hood. I don't know how I'd fix that. Uh, I looked at all my scrap yards and junk yards, uh, just like part sorcery yards. They none of them. Are, they're like they're either all wrecked in this corner. Um, they're all wrecked in the front end, or um, they don't have one in you know, or that's. I don't know. It's just, it's damaged or it's, uh, or they don't have it. So pretty much only damaged ones, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. I don't know what I'm, what I'm thinking here, but, um, then you've got the back, you know, relatively just average. Uh, the inside, these are stickers. If that, if you're wondering, um, stereo sounds good. Uh, you know, run the drives. The f yes, I checked the course port and all this. It's not bowed, it's not bent, it's not creased, nothing, it's fine. Yes, all the lights are here, but as you can see, it's off, so. Um, and that's about it. That's uh, pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much all of the ones that I was looking at. I, I looked at, I'll just show you a couple. I looked at this, obviously, Porsche Cayenne from 2013, just uh, kind of for kicks and giggles, but uh, I wouldn't buy this one because it looks... Um, Everybody knows the A-pillar comes down and then straight down, and it goes in front of the wheel well. I would think that that A-pillar is broken, or not broken, bent. Um, and that's why I don't want to have to put it on a frame machine or anything. Uh, this will also go way outside my price range. So, And it also smells like smoking in the interior. That's why I don't like smoking. This one, I... Not this one. No, it was a different one. Um, but it was pretty much like this. It didn't have the canopy on the back. Um, this is a run and drive. The one that I looked at was just a... Or engine start... No, no, just just the start program. Um, and I, you know, obviously someone snagged the keys out of it. Um, and it said that there was no transmission. And, of course, that didn't specify it in the ad. So, 
that's uh, that's why I also looked at this one because I love cards like this. I just love them. I have an old soul. Yes, people think these are ugly. Man, it is the most comfortable thing ever. Anyway, that's this is also not a run and drive, but that is basically all I wanted to do uh, for this video, my very first video. Of course, there's probably not many of you watching yet, but if uh, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see anything else, like uh, any sort of actual hands-on material, definitely drop a comment down below and uh, let me know. Um, give any suggestions you have on, you know, what cars that you'd like to see featured on the channel. I'm, of course, within reason if I can get my hands on them. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I also forgot to mention, this is a separate clip. Uh, it's kind of awkward. However, I also have an email uh, address that you can send suggestions to. That is teammechanic at yahoo.com. Uh, definitely send me any suggestions you have there as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video for real this time.